everybody and welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to rank all my dior perfumes with you guys but before i jump into this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so today i'm wearing false eyelashes and i never do that and i'm like how is everyone doing that like like i can constantly like feel there's something on my eyes so i don't know if they show up on camera but they're like fluffy, not like too long. I don't like like crazy long lashes. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention that. So um, yeah, I grabbed all of my Dior perfumes. I think that's all of them. I really hope that I didn't miss any. Um, so I have six perfumes from Dior. And Dior is actually, I've realized, one of my favorite designers like when it comes to perfumes. So um, I was like, why not share them with you guys? Um, so I have three poison. To miss Dior and of course the erratic so let's go ahead and jump right in so there are in like no particular order or anything I, I love them all but you all know I love Dior Addict so why not let's go ahead and just talk about Dior Addict, Dior Addict. so this one um uh, Dior Addict um is my number one favorite perfume I love this perfume and I feel like I've had it for like a year and a half now and I feel like the vanilla is just getting like sweeter and sweeter in this one you have like mandarin leaf in there you have jasmine in there you have vanilla in there this one is the 2014 version i've never got to smell the original version which hopefully one day i will longevity is great on this one the projection is great on this one and this one is definitely pre smoke performance very elegant classy perfume um definitely fall winter um unfortunately spring is here summer is like right around the corner it's like over 80 degrees where i live today 30 celsius um and it's too cloying so unfortunately this one i have to wait until fall until i get to wear this one again but i'm just gonna constantly like sniff on it um so this is dior addict so let's talk about the poison so the oldest poison i think is out of the ones I have is a uh, hypnotic poison this is the eau de toilette I think this came out in 1998 I used to have this like in the early 2000s when I was like 14 or 15 years old and I loved this perfume it's definitely more a mature grown-up adult perfume not like old lady-ish but definitely like if I smell it it's definitely not like a teenage perfume or anything like that um, this one is you either love it or you hate it it has notes of coconut in there um, almond vanilla I'm gonna try to put all the notes right here because I don't know all the notes right now and uh, people say it smells like play-doh um, to their nose but I love it I don't I mean I do get the play-doh a little bit but it's like a delicious play-doh I love it it's like creamy sweet powdery and I love it. This is the order toilet. Um, the order toilet is definitely more available in the stores. Um, if you want the order parfum, you have to go like on discount websites. But I have seen it in European like um, perfume stores. They have the, the order parfum and the order toilet. Uh, but in the United States, it's more def definitely the or the toilet and uh, the longevity used to be much better on it. Um, it's not bad but it used to be better on it and it's just so mysterious in a way it's hypnotic poison i mean it's a classic that one is definitely a classic and i think after hypnotic poison i think uh, the pure poison came i'm not sure what year um but pure poison they all smell different they're like no similarities or anything like that they all like i don't know are they flakers or is it like yeah, the flavors of the poison <laughs> and um this one is definitely a white floral jasmine uh fresh um uh, perfume it's definitely like for every day the office this time of the year spring this is a great perfume this one is the auto perfume i think yep auto perfume i don't know if they even make an auto turret from this one and the longevity is great i always get compliments when i wear this one um when i smelled it the first time i was actually like mm, it kind of smells a little bit boring but pretty you know like it has something like it's definitely getting you compliments you definitely smell 
um, grown up, um, all of the idea was, I feel like, like the poison ones, they're very, uh, except for the next one I mentioned, um, they're very, like, grown up, like, great perfumes. The next one is, uh, Poison Girl, and this one is the Eau de Parfum, so I got this one for Christmas, I think, two or three, two years ago, I think, yeah, two years ago. My juice is extremely, like, dark, it's, like, almost black, and this, like I said, did I say this is the Eau de Parfum? I think so. This is Poison Girl um, Eau de Parfum. Uh, the batch code on this one is 2016, so I think that's when it just came out. And you also have like almond in there, I think. I think you have licorice in there as well. Um, and this one is like the spray is really nice. Like you see the spray is really fine. It's so good. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, it's definitely, like, if you compare it to the Order to Let, the Order to Let is a little bit more, just a little lighter, a little bit more fun, a little bit more playful, girly, where this one is a little bit more just for the night out or something like that. I wouldn't necessarily wear this, like, during the day or going to work. It's definitely, like, you get attention with this perfume. Like, when it first came out, I smell it on somebody and I asked, like, what what is it that you wear because you smell delicious and it was this one but that was when it first came out so I don't know if it was the order to let order it perfume um, but yeah if you thinking about getting this one I would go for the order perfume because the order perfume lasts much longer and it's so good it's just so good um, all right so let's jump over to uh, my Miss Dior. So we have, of course, um, Miss Dior Eau de Parfum, and this one is the 2014, no, is it the 2014? I think this is 2017 version. I think so. Either two, no, it's 2017. Um, and this one is unfortunately discontinued. This one is your typical, I would say your typical, like, mall perfume, as I call it. Like, you walk into a mall and you walk into, like, the pure perfume and like makeup a department and you smell this this is what I smell like when I go into a mall it's definitely a rose patchouli perfume um, it definitely goes into the direction of like Chanel Coco Mademoiselle uh, La Vie Belle it's a very elegant a very classy perfume and they unfortunately reformulated the Miss Dior so now there's a 2021 version in I like it um, I actually like it a lot um, but it's nothing like this like it's completely different it actually reminds me of um, Victor and Rolf flower bomb so it actually reminds me a lot of that um, I got this one um, very discontinued uh, very discounted for $35 um, at Macari this is a Tesla bottle and I'm super happy that I have it because it's really really hard to find right now unfortunately so yeah, this one is Miss Dior Eau de Parfum by Christian Dior. And we're already on to the last one. I felt like almost I had more, but I guess I didn't. So this one is uh, Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming, um, the Eau de Parfum. And this one is a very pretty, girly perfume. It, it's just so pretty. Like, it's, you know what? Let me quickly look the notes because I really don't know the notes of this one right now at all. So it's like a fruity rose perfume. In the top you have raspberry. Oh god, I love that. And then you have blackcurrant. You have pomegranate, pink pepper, may rose, peony. And in the base you have musk. So uh, I think I mentioned this one time that I think there is vanilla in there. Like, I don't know. Maybe not maybe in the very deep dry down but it's so good um unfortunately the longevity is eh with that one but it's just so good it's so pretty um this one is the 1.7 ounces i think yeah 1.7 ounces i've heard rumors that this is also being discontinued i really hope not i hate that you were does that they either discontinue or reformulate constantly and I really really wish the boy you would stop doing that. Uh, please 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 don't discontinue uh, the erotic. Please don't ever discontinue that one. So yeah those were all of my uh, Dior perfumes. Again please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.